Oh boy. Uh, it's kind of stuffy in this coffin. Well, hey, that's me. Let's get going. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guys and girls, ghosts and goblins. If you're new here, hi. <laughs> this guy, what's up, Tuesday? Holy smokes. Z Ruby 159. Thank you so much for the follow. My green screen is going crazy. Let me fix this here. Sorry about this. Where are my filters? Filters, chroma key. Mm, there, the green screen should be less stupid now. As I was saying, if you're new here, hi. My name is Sean Gory, and I'll spare you the gory details. I'm dead excited to be here with y'all this Tuesday evening for our Tombstone Tuesday broadcast. We were off yesterday celebrating Memorial Day, observing Memorial Day, um, just kind of taking the holiday. But we're back today, and I'm dead excited to be with you all, diving directly back to where we left off here with Subnautica, and this is like our third little playthrough. What you missed between the last playthrough and just now is I did, sure enough, move our base from the location I built it over by Delta Station and moved it closer towards where our landing pod crashed. Um, it seemed like this is a better spot for materials, like, not dying. <laughs> what day is it? It's two Stone Tuesday, my dude. It is just a Tuesday. Wait, where's my, where's my, where's my snare? Just a Tuesday. Um, but yes, so we moved the base, but now there's like some other stuff we want to go to. We want to go and check out that one radio signal, which was a thing. So we're definitely going to check that out. Um, but before we go anywhere, you might notice right over my head here, there's this giant blue donation bar for this thing called Extra Life. Ow. <laughs> Extra Life is an absolutely free 24-hour gaming marathon that helps raise funds for charity and benefits sick and injured kids in the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. It's absolutely amazing. It's been going for less, the last like 12 or 13 years, and I've had the absolute pleasure of participating in the last 11 of them. What's crazy about the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals is that every minute, 62 kids will actually walk through their doors and need a treatment, which is just over a child per second. And the great thing about these hospitals is they always take the kids, no matter, just absolutely regardless of their ability to pay or not, this ensures that they always get the care that they deserve, which is absolutely amazing. So if you would like to find out more information on how you could play games all day and help raise some funds for a local children's hospital of your choice, definitely head on over to extra-life.org to find out more information or click that link that Pumpkin Jack put into the chat or look in my bio and you can find more information. There are lots of ways to get involved. You guys have to pardon me. My throat has been absolutely murdering me since I woke up. A thousand zombies are on their way from the host by the plumbing adventures. Thank you so much for that host, buddy. Welcome to the stream. I feel enough to kick and butt all week. So, speaking of extra life, you might notice that right here I'm trying to, we want Rachel, we want Rachel. Hey man, I'm not a dictator. I can't force her to do things she doesn't want to. She'll be back, don't worry. You might notice that we're trying to raise $5,000 for the kids this year. We've raised like well over $10,000 over the past several years, but this year our goal is five grand, and we're already over the $4,000 milestone. That's very much thank you to Miss Rachel. And if we can get that $5,000 milestone this year, we have some very spicy incentives for you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Our 2021 Extra Life $5,000 fundraising milestone is to participate and hopefully complete the Season 13 Hot Ones Challenge. We'll be taking on the Wings of Death, eating 10 increasingly spicy wings whose sauces measure beyond the millions on the Scoville scale while answering questions submitted by donors like you. In fact, every $5 donation actually earns you a question to ask and a chance for us to answer it live during this challenge. Lone Wolf, welcome to the stream, friendo. Speak of the devil. Speak of eating hot stuff for the kids. Gory Gang is right. Let me get this incentive screen out of the way here. I have a to dab. This plumbing of interest that we can right here. If you look right, 
Here. Some adventure just spent some points to make me dab. So, here we go. Mark that as complete. Thank you much for those channel points there, buddy. Let me slap the cans on here. Done. Okay, cool. We're in. Music's going. Things are good. I'm doing okay. My mouth is just a little bit tender, but I'm good. What happened to your mouth? Was, uh, did you eat something like sharp? Like a... Uh, or too crunchy? Oh, never mind. You had a root canal today. Ignore me. Hey, well, that recovers quick, man. Okay, so our base is exactly how it was in the other place. It has nothing more than a door, a charger, a fabricator. We got four lockers. And I just planted this thing. I don't know how harvesting, like, the fruit itself is going to go on this. We might have to be a little bit careful. But this thing should provide food and water, which is going to be nice. Root canal this morning. I remembered, I remembered. Well, let's take a little mental note here. And what we can build. Are the same side effects from eating a large hot dog? Man. Didn't feel a thing that even the shots. That's great. Um... Here. Basic materials, we got all those. Um, we built a thermos, which could take, like, coffee with us for some reason. I don't think we need coffee. I do want to build a compass so I can figure out, like, what is what direction. Okay. With copper and a wiring kit. For copper, we need two silver. Well, I don't have any silver, so let's do that. Do we have any copper? We need copper and silver. That's what we're going for. But then again, you're also tough as nails. You're not wrong. Okay, let's put our little device to silver ore. Perfect. Um, previous. Silver ore. Perfect. Let's just go this way and hope we get some silver ore. Go down a little bit. We'll bust out our bust out our little tool. Silver anywhere? The negative. Actually, hold on. Is there like a thing that has a chance of silver? Chance of gold. Chance of silver. Ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, we're like right on top of it. Titanium. All right, that's not what we need. So now I'm just sitting ripping up more tiles while, while on drugs. Or while on painkillers. Very well done, Plumber. Very well done. You're having a cigar with wounds in your mouth? I'm not sure that's uh that's kosher. Okay, we need one more silver. Let's keep swimming. I can hear a creature roaring. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. One of these little things is right here. Perfect, perfect. No painkillers. Okay. Okay, we got two things of silver, and just so that we don't need more in the future, I'm gonna figure out what's in here. Titanium. Silver ore. Great, so we even have a spare. We need copper. Let's get some oxygen. We've got 50 seconds. Ryder Cat, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing, little miss? Welcome, welcome. Get some delicious air, then we'll set this little device to look for copper, because we've got enough for a wiring kit, but we need wire. Copper, copper, copper ore, limestone trunks, that's what we're looking for here. Doing well on yourself? I'm doing really well. I'm excited to be playing Subnautica again. It's been a minute. We're, I can hear something roaring. We're close. Oh, we're very close. There it is. Come on, copper. Copper. Ayy. Let's see if we can find one more just for fun. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Copper? Titanium will take it. How about you? What are you? Lead. We don't have a lot of that. We don't have a lot of quartz. Um, Water is always good. Excuse me, sir. 
How's everyone's holiday? Holiday was great, man. It's always nice to have a little bit of time off. Always good. Okay, let's find one more thing of copper. Wow, holy stuff, Batman. All right, we got copper. We're good. We're good. All right, let's head back towards our home. Our new base. I don't have a beacon set up on our base yet. I know it's close to this crash pod, but it might not hurt to actually build a beacon here. It was, we also have four solar panels, so it's very easy to see. Not very easy to see. It's, our place is, has nice and powered. Mine was last week, so it was lovely. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, this thing's still growing. Um, let's take the recipe or the blueprint for the wiring kit off and let's make ourselves a compass. Copper wire, great. Wiring kit done. I had four day weekend, so mine was awesome. Four days is always better than three. Wow, since April? That's a long time. Compass, compass. Yes, this is we want this is very good. And we can officially see what is in what direction. Perfect, perfect. Just been enjoying the April, May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Provincial lockdown, non essential business. Oh, okay, that makes perfect sense. Hope everyone's okay. Like things are generally speaking getting better here. Hopefully things are getting better with you guys too. Hmm, we could build power cells instead of batteries, but I don't have a power cell charger, so we're gonna keep that B. Forget the thermos. We already have the high capacity tank. A repair tool. Do I have a repair tool? <laughs> I don't work the day after any major holiday in the last two weeks of the year. That's a great way to split up um, holidays and just vacation days. That way it just really extends. That's a double way because it extends your vacation. Of course, shortens the work week. So three days on, four days off. That's a win. We don't need a repair tool yet, but we're going to. So... Do we have sulfur on us? I know we found some on that island. Perfect. Do we already have everything we need for the repair tool? Hold on. Yeah. That's under tools. There it is. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. We have a repair tool now. Okay. Let's see. Let me put away some of this other crap we don't need. So we're going to start getting hungry here soon. Switch, 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 switch. Okay. Let's make some food and some water. Also, team, I love to mock Lost, and it led to an actual donation. So, <laughs> some golden. That's hilarious. No, I saw something on your... Uh, your Twitter feed about like how you get actual life donations. I think you're talking with your mom, and doesn't matter where they come from, right? It all goes to the good, the same good cause. Seek fluid and take. She's. I knew. I was hungry before she told me. Vital signs stabilizing. Lemur says that he's being a jerk and using your bereavement time at the end of July on top of your 15 day vacation. So you're just even extending it even further. I mean, hey man, that's working smarter, not harder. We need a little bit more water and a little more food. Did I not grab a bladder fish? I swear I grabbed a bladder fish. Oh, I grabbed a bottle of water. Oops. Consume. Consume. Alright, we're at 99. Son of a gun. Yep. Whatever works, man. What happens if I cook the bladder fish? Does it take my my hydration away? Okay, no. Okay, we're we're fed. We're good. We're good. This thing's still growing. Okay, let's see what else we can build before we get crazy. Mineral Finder. We will need a mobile vehicle bay to build the. What do you call it? The sea truck. So we're going to do that now. 
That's a lot of work, plumber, having your teeth fixed. Hopefully it's not too much all at once, man, because I know it could be painful. So we need titanium ingots, lubricant, and a computer chip. I know I've got titanium ingots. Here, hold on. Let's pin this recipe. Do I have lubricant? I don't. We have titanium ingots, computer chip. Okay, lubricant. Creep vine seed cluster. So let's go for that. It's the, the smallest thing. Creep vine seed clusters. I'm looking right at one. Okay, we got it. Oh, fishy. Free food. I'll take. I'll always take free food. Get back here, you son of a gun. Yeah, you cut their jawbone for your next step? Yeah, that's a that's a that's a hard pass. Okay, we need gold, table coral, and copper wire. Well we can make co we got gold. Do we did we use all of our copper? We totally used all of our copper. Well, looks like we're gonna go get more copper, which is fine. Oh no, did I just Ruin our grape seed thing? No, I made lubricant. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Angel of Mayhem. What? Welcome to the stream, friendo. How are you? You know what? I'm gonna just sort of drop this. Ah, we're gonna get one more thing of the vine. Ladder fish. Don't mind if I do. Boomerang fish. Don't mind if I do. There. Now it's not wasting our inventory so much. Implants are time-consuming plumber. This sounds like a lot of work, man. I'm just, I don't envy you at all. I'm doing well, Angel. I woke up with like a really... Like, my throat was really sore today for no reason. I think maybe I stuffed my mouth open, like, catching flies. But, so other than the sniffles, I'm doing well. Uh, I can't tell if Uncle Jack actually ate a kid right now or not. Okay, um, we need copper for the wire and table coral the computer chip depends on what you're implanting i mean shh. either way that's a hard hard pass for me we don't need you we're gonna put you away for a minute oh man i don't have a bed it'd be real nice to not swim around the dark let's look for table coral table coral I can hear some creatures roaring. I don't know what they are. Makes me nervous. Oh look, free oxygen. Close to table coral at all, by chance? I saw some sparks over there, okay. Ooh, ooh, we're close to table coral. Found it, found it, found it. We need two table coral, so we're gonna take you. Take you, and then we're gonna leave that. We're not trying to bog down the inventory here. Okay, now we need copper. We need copper wire. Your dental insurance covers a year, so you try and get as much done at once. Is that right, plumber? Silver, copper, copper. Okay, we're gonna keep swimming, picking up some foodies and waters, and then bust out our tool again. Not copper ore. Um, there we go. Limestone chunk. Where's our home? Oh, we're close. That makes perfect sense, plumber. Make hay while the sun shines. Strike while the iron's hot. All that jazz. Free water. Thank you. Ah, there it is. Please give me copper. Titanium. Please give me copper. Silver. Didn't need it, but I'll take it. There was some of that table shelf coral too, which is ironic because we were looking for that. Looking for copper. We're very close. Very close. I wish it wasn't so dark. D 
didn't need the lead, but we'll take it. What? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. Ooh, ooh, I wasn't expecting it to be right there. We're just gonna casually swim up. I'm not trying to waste the batteries on my sea glide. We're okay. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Okay, it's about to start hailing. Then let's get under the water. Keep looking for uh copper here. Limestone chunk. We're very close to a limestone chunk. Oh no, there's a monkey! There's a monkey! No, no monkey, no. No. So the sea monkeys take your items, and I'm not trying to chase down a monkey, especially if it takes my sea glide. Okay, cool. We have everything we need. Where is our house? There it is. Yep, it's hailing. Gosh, this game's so pretty. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, um... Whoa! Is it flickering in here? I got plenty of power. We got plenty of power. Okay, we're still... We're not hungry yet, so we, we've got the lubricant we need, so let's make the computer chip. I need the copper wire. Do I need two copper to make copper wire? We need one more one more thing of copper ore. And it is still hailing out. Limestone trunk. We're looking for limestone. We're very close to limestone. Very close to limestone. Is it in here? We're on top of it. Copper, please. I'll take the titanium. Still looking for limestone. We're very close. Holy smokes, that's a lot. Titanium. And copper, there we go. Let's head home. Look at those god rays coming like from the the water just gorgeous it is so bright just crazy look at that water beautiful just beautiful like it literally casts like rainbows on like the surfaces so pretty where's our tree at 97 percent heck yeah okay copper wire done computer chip done Okay, we can make a mobile vehicle bay. It's a big build. It's still going. Holy smokes. Wow. Okay. Let's assign this a quick slot real quick. Release vehicle bay. I want to, but I don't want to put it like on top of our base. I'm gonna put it in the general direction of our escape pod, our crash pod. Then again, if I build something, yeah. Nope. There we go. Yeah, this will be good, this will be good. Right here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Use the vehicle bay. Vehicles. Sea truck. One titanium ingot. One advanced wiring kit. Two glass, lead, a power cell. Okay, so we don't have a power cell, but I think in theory we can make everything else. So, let's pin this recipe here. C. 
sea truck. Sea truck. Sea truck. Come on. There it is. Pin recipe. Um, Let's look up how to make a power cell. Oh, I'm, I'm freezing, aren't I? Power cell and then advanced wiring kit. Okay. We're not freezing anymore. This is good. Well... Oh my gosh, the tree is done. Okay, so if I grab the nut, will the nut regrow? That is the million dollar question. Because these... They give you a ton of food, a good bit of water, and they even give you health. Like, they, they heal you. I'm going to put you in my food locker. We'll see if you regrow over time. I'll have to keep an eye on you, I suppose. Um, advanced wearing kit, we need two things of silver. Done. For the regular wearing kit. Okay. Now we need a computer chip. And I remember the computer chip needed coral. Pin recipe. Some pin recipe. We need gold, table coral, and copper wire. There's the gold. Double coral and copper wire. So we need two ingots or two little things of copper. So let's look for that right now. Oh, some's close. Ah, oh, maybe. Titanium. Oh, there. We're close to another one. There it is. Okay, we need one more thing of copper. That looks like limestone to me. Ooh, table coral. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, table coral. We'll need two of you. Hmm, table coral? Hmm, there's got to be more ta table coral around here somewhere. Come on, table coral. Bright red. Should be easy, easy Warning. spot. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. These guys are, are harmless, right? Yeah. Come on, table coral. I think I, my, my tool can actually pick up a table coral. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. I should remaining. probably get to the surface. Not drowning would be really nice. Okay, while we're up here, let's let this thing to table coral. There we go. Let's start kind of going straight down here. We'll, we'll find something. Hello. <laughs> thank you. I'll plug in. Oh, thank you. Here. <laughs> it's hot. Right, thank you. Okay, table coral. Found it. I wonder if I could plant this stuff and, like, grow my own. If that makes any sense. Okay, well, we got what we need to make a computer chip, so let's head home. We'll probably have to step out to make more stuff for a battery, but who knows. I want kisses in red vino. <laughs> Kayla! Kayla! Okay. Copper wire. This should complete the computer chip for us. 
which we can use for the advanced wiring kit. So that's two of the four things off our list right there. Where's uh where's our recipe guide? Unpin, unpin. Okay. A power cell needs two batteries and synthetic mesh. Well, luckily we have this. Oh, silicon rubber. That's what it is. We've already got that guy. Two batteries. We got a spare battery here. What do we need for batteries? One copper ore and two ribbon plants. We're gonna get. We're gonna get four of those ribbon plants because I know there's some not far from here. If I can get an underwater grow bed, we'll be able to just grow our own of these guys, and it'll be wonderful. Okay, three to go, three to go. Oh, look at that. We need copper. We need... We need two copper. Come on. We need two copper, and we need... Oh my gosh, that shadow... I thought that was like a reaper. Two copper and four of these ribbon plants. Okay, this is a weird color down here. I don't know if I like that. Free oxygen. I'll I'll take it. Come on. We need one more copper. Three more of those ribbon plants. Guess it's time to zip around faster. This would be a good spot for ribbon plants. I'm not seeing them. How far are we from home? I don't want to get absolutely destroyed. Oh shoot. There's a, this is like a sea monkey nest. What am I doing here? Okay, I'm heading home. I'm heading home. I don't want the sea monkeys to take my glider. Stupid sea monkeys. Okay, we're probably have a much better chance of finding those vines over here. At least I hope. Holy smokes. That, no, that fish was a dangerous fish. I don't know if you guys saw it for a second. I'm only chilling for a moment, but. Okay, vines, not the ones I'm looking for, but vines nonetheless. Ooh, are you a... Titanium, I want copper. Give me copper, please. Son of a gun. Copper, please. I think I'm back in, like, the sea monkey nest, because... That's what it looks like with them just chilling over there. Thank you. Okay, we're good on copper. We just need the, uh... Three more of those vines. Looking for vines. This tool detects minerals. It doesn't detect um, plant stuffs. Fauna. It's a shame. I wonder if this uh, scanner room could find that stuff. This is a question I will probably forget to ask myself once I build it. Okay, well we're close to the, the crash pod now, so that there's probably a good chance of the vines being around here. Well, like grape seed vines. Not to be confused with the grape. The creep vines. Shoot, come on. Sixty seconds. This would be a good spot for the those vines. I probably collected stuff right there earlier. Come on. 
Looking for vines. There's no way I harvested them out of extinction. That's there's no way. I've been finding everything else so easy. I mean, I got. I guess it helps. I have the tool that Laura does that for me. There is one. Holy smokes, there's one. Yank them vines. I'm trying. I'm trying. Ribbon plant. That's what's called ribbon plant. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's get the heck home. There's the base right there. Oxygen. I'm swimming. I'm swimming. Oh, five seconds. Thanks for the warning, Stella. I adore that uh, you can color code beacons now. You could. I'm pretty sure you could color code. You could color code your ship. I don't remember you could color code beacons. Okay, it does in fact look like the the nuts regrow, which is amazing. So now that I know that, I got free food. I wish she didn't moan while she was eating nuts. Terrible. Okay, so let's start by making two batteries. Two batteries done. Um, let's make a power cell. Great. Now we need the Tim ingots, glass, and lead. I went farming so much copper the other day. So, so much. I mean, if you just like break all the things, that's not a bad way to do it. And you can like leave them on the ocean floor and then pick it up easier with your scanner room later. Roadcath, I'm sure I asked you this. I know you started playing like a week before I did. Did you beat the game yet? Okay, I don't have three lead and I don't have... I don't have enough quartz. So we're at to go quartz shopping, which is fine. Killer Kenzie, long time no see. Welcome to the stream. Other than a little case of the sniffles, I'm doing okay. How are you? Real question. <laughs> Whose ribs were better? I need more recipes. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I saw yours before you cooked them. They looked darn good. I was, like, I was pretty pleased with mine. There's only one way to find out. No, I, okay, Red Cat says she's been taking her time and getting lost easily. Yeah, that's a thing. How long is this game, though? That's a good question, Killa. Um, this one, this is Subnautica 2, Blood Zero, that just came out. I own that girl, right? Yes. <laughs> um, so this just came out, like, a week ago or two weeks ago. Um, I'm sure, like, some pros would probably beat this game in, like, seven to eight hours. But I easily already have four hours into it, and I don't think I've scratched the surface. But, yes, I, I own that grill. It was a... It was a... I had a big boy grill, and I gave it... I traded it to my brother-in-law for, for him, my sister, and then my niece and nephew. And he traded me back, like, the Weber, this little thing, because it's just me and my girlfriend. So... What are you gonna do? Southwest or beef ribs? Um, I am pretty sure there were pork, so I don't remember. I didn't read the packaging. I didn't even think about that as like being an option. They're a lone wolf. Pork, probably. If I, if I had to guess. Okay, so we need at least one more quartz and two one more lead. So let's look for. Quartz. We've seen a lot of quartz. I'm, I'm sure it won't be long. Ah, good. More meats. Yes. No, these things are super meaty. Like, it was the kind of way to, like, turn them inside out and, like, have, like, the crescent of the bone, like, touch the side of your cheeks. Like, they were, they were meaty boys. Okay. Still need more quartz. Mmm. <laughs> hey, look, there's table coral. I hate exploring at night. It is Warning. 
Unnecessarily spoopy. There's a whole bunch of these things down here. And a whole bunch of coral. Note to self. Where's my home? North. East. Southeast is the way to go. Ports, please. Oh, don't do not do that. Quartz, please. <laughs> Hydrate. Cheers, our cat. Thank you. Oh, and that posture check. Yes. Thank you. That's self-care. Better to do those ribs at home than the higher price of the rib fest. Dude, the price at rib fest has gone up. It's, um, it's $3 for one bone now. Versus, like, back in the day, it was a buck a bone. What do you do? All right, going straight up to get back to the surface, and then we're going to start looking for lead. Ah. Oh, is this Aurora Bore House time? Or is it just sunrise? It's just sunrise. Nope. Oh, good. It's hailing. I hope I don't get beat up on this. It certainly has a peri apparently a really good rift fest. If you don't know, you have to fix that. Rift fests are awesome. Okay. Lead. Killkins to give out a, a sub to Ryder Cat. Oh my gosh. That deserves a little bit of love. Let me give you a shout out here if it decides to load. There it is. And then um, I'm also going to put on my, my Twitch cheeks for you. There we go. Boom. My vegetarian stuff is not rib oriented. Oh, I didn't realize that you were vegetarian. I'm sure you've probably mentioned it before. Hmm. <laughs> ah! <laughs> um, no, thank you, thank you. Super nice of you, Killa Kenzie. Thank you. I mean, I'm sure they make vegetarian versions of everything. I'm sure they make veggie ribs. That being said, I can also guarantee that that's probably not a common thing on the menu at a rib fest in your hometown. I was so... Okay, we we're getting pings. Seek fluid intake. Okay, we're apparently thirsty. Nope. Oh, there, there it is, there it is. Please give me lead. Son of a gun. Alright, well, let's head home a little bit. We'll eat and drink. No fudge it. This is what we have water on us for. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. Looking for more lead. We need... We found the stuff that produces lead, but the titanium in it. Didn't help us at all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. That's limestone, right? If it's like right here and I can't see because it's so dark, I'm gonna be pissed off. Warning. There it is. Titanium, son of a gun. Oh, we got another hit. We got another hit. Please give me lead. Woohoo! Let's go home and we can build the sea truck, you guys. It's about to get real. Oxygen. I'm swimming to the surface. I'm swimming to the surface. Seven seconds before I die. Keep on trucking. <laughs> toot toot. <laughs> okay, there's one second left on the timer. That was a. Uh... I didn't like that. Well, what's funny is, like, right there is the crash pod. Right there is our mobile vehicle bay. And then right here is our base. God, this game is beautiful. I'm on Sea Truck 2. Did you lose Sea Truck 1? Or your base is so large, you need, you need to. Oh, my gosh. I have free food and water in here. 15 food, 5 H2O. So it's not very hydrating, but it's something. But we'll switch. We've got more water on us, and let's actually make. Make nothing water. Too soon to talk about C Truck 1. Rest in spaghetti, never forgetty. Can we get an effing chat for the first truck? Looks off wistfully into the distance. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna drop a, a rip emote for you. Poor thing. Poor 
Or a lost sea truck. Okay. Let's make some glass. Do I not have... Do I need the... This stuff? Yes. My locker's gonna be bone dry, but that's fine. I'd rather not have to build a ton of lockers. It's fine. Resources. Glass. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, it's happening. You need a party ping in your office. <laughs> yes, thank you for that, those rips. Well, we have everything we need. Um, I'm still a little thirsty and a little hungry. Do I have any more of those nuts? I sure do. Delicious, delicious nuts. <clears throat> I'm gonna cook this guy and eat him, and it should get us water and food, which would be good. Perfect. We're we're a hundred percent on everything. Let's get out of here. Go to a little mobile vehicle bay and build this truck. What? What? Vehicles, a sea truck, yes. <laughs> Wait, what in the truck? Ooh, bleep loop. Truck it, yes. Construct a sea truck, yes. I'm actually glad I built it over here so when it drops, it doesn't just destroy our base, because that happened in Subnautica 1. It's beautiful. How many phantom points do I need for G Day to? And to get kisses and vino. That's funny. That's a good question. I'll uh, I'll get back to you on that one. How do I get inside this thing? Is there a hatch in the top? Sure is. My gosh, this thing is awesome. Can I collect materials from inside of it? Or is it just for transportation? Okay. Well, I'm going to start exploring here because... Um, this thing uses a power cell and I don't have a power cell charger, that's going to be a bad time. So what we're going to do is we're going to start exploring. What's the depth on this guy? A thermal blade? What? We need that. We need that. We need that. Where's the truck? I want to unpin the, the recipe for the truck. There it is. Unpin all. I did not mean to do that. did not mean to get out. Okay. So there's Delta Station. Oh, we can go 150 meters down? That's not very deep at all. We're gonna check this out. If we need to like add modules to this, we can do that. Oh, for game day, I understand. Good question, I'll get back to you. Well, you guys, we've been streaming for almost a full hour and before I make this adventure, we're gonna save, we're gonna take a quick break, we're gonna run a miracle story and uh, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, guys. And when he was born, they had to airlift him to the IWK. I found out that they didn't think he was even going to make the flight. And they uh, then identified that he probably had what's called spondyloepiphyseal dysplasia congenita. When I got to the IWK, I stayed right beside him the whole time. And you start thinking about all the little things you're going to miss. The thought of never being able to hold his hand and walk across the street. Uh, never taking him to the duck pond, never taking him the first day of school. We brought in a cake and gave all the nurses cake and brought presents every month. And I said I was going to celebrate every month that I had him. How could this guy that was so sick have come out to be such a vital, active, bright young guy? Spencer was in the neonatal unit at the hospital when I first saw him, and they'd asked me to see him about a cleft of his palate, which had been a minor problem that they'd noticed compared to some of the problems that Spencer had had. Spencer's condition is a rather complex one. He has a congenital, he's born with a condition where his long bones uh, aren't growing. The type of dwarfism he has is associated with um, some instability of his neck, 
that his neck can move back and forth further. The treatment for this requires a surgical intervention, and neurosurgeons are typically uh, the prime movers in this case, and the orthopedic surgeon take bone and support the area, so you basically fuse or stiffen that upper area of the spine. You used to like stickers, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Huh? Do you want some for old time's sake? Or are you too big now? Not sure. Uh, oh, okay, good. For old time's sake. For old time's sake, mm -hmm. excellent. <laughs> I treat him just like a normal friend, and he treats me like a normal one. It's it's really great. There's some perks to it, you know, like the elevator and stuff. All right, so we haven't got any more. <laughs> Dance, Dance. Uh, I've got a buddy over here. We all. He's a good friend of all of our Spencer McKay, right? Hey, Spencer. But this is what's new with Spencer. Let's show everybody at home there. Let's. Uh, that is what's new with Spencer. Look, look at that. Holy Hannah. You always want to provide excellent care for children like Spencer. They've already been through so much. If you read over his history and you know what he's been through, in his case, we did have to take him to the operating room a few times to do treatment for him. You've got neurosurgery, but then that would knock off one. We've got six doctor's appointments next week. So. Wow, that's a busy day. It's a privilege for me, and it's an inspiration for me to meet these families who just can go through everything they've gone through and still be smiling and positive and happy at the end of the day. In the Maritimes, we are the, the regional center and we have all the specialists here. Uh, it hasn't always been the IWK. Initially, it was the Halifax Children's Hospital when it was first opened. And it's been the only pediatric hospital uh, east of Montreal in Canada since uh, forever. Before I had a sick child, I didn't realize the importance of a hospital for kids. It doesn't hit home to you until you've actually had a child who's had to stay there. Spencer was in there for almost two years, and I lived in that hospital, and I became family. I became, you know, just a part of the fixture. I certainly would love to say, without a doubt, that I appreciate from my total heart the IWK and the Children's Miracle Network. This is the biggest eye-opener to me of how important these organizations are, and how much they do for the families as well as the sick children. He's very good for uh, people in the waiting room. When they see Spencer and seeing uh, his engagement with them and his attitude, a lot of people will come in thinking they have serious problems and say, man, I saw that guy out there and I really don't think I should be here. Humor makes us laugh. Humor brings us up. Humor is why we're still happy, you know? If we just sat around and thought about all the sad things and never laughed, then where do you think we would be now? Depressed. So he has a way of disarming them and, uh, and putting in perspective uh, some of the conditions that we see. All right, you guys, we are back.
Thank you so much for tuning in. What you just saw was a miracle story, or just a really good example of how the good people over at the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals go to literally change the lives of kids in need. So if you would like to find more information, just click that link that Pumpkin Jack dropped in the chat, head over in my bio, or just Google Actual Life. You'll find all kinds of information on it. We are over $4,000 on our way to this $5,000 goal we have. But I digress. Let's get right back into the gameplay. You guys, we just built the C truck. What? Uh. So we to explore. And uh, this is like where, you know, finding resources, like that's always great. But exploring is, of course, like. Stuff's about to get real. I've already explored this little sort of shark tank crash site. Boy, there's a whole lot of nothing over here. Okay, I can at least see the ground now. I'm hoping... Oh, the, the thermal area. Okay, so we have been over here because we made our, way, made our way all the way over to Delta Station earlier. Yeah, we were all the way over Delta Station. So this is... This is where I initially started building the base because you can get heat energy from thermals. And with heat energy, you'll never run out of... Uh, electricity because like electricity um ah boy this thing sort of like rotates strangely can I scan this thing what the heck is this that is nothing that's what that is I saw like a sort of gold rock is this uh sandstone it's the gold. I don't need gold. What the F is this? Is this an egg? Oh, it looked like... You can see inside of it. So I saw two vegans arguing the other day. Could you say that they had beef? They had a lot of beef. There it is. There it is. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna keep going. We're pretty much passing Delta Station now. And I'm getting an uneasy feeling about the last known position of this pilot. Because we've never gone this far from home. <laughs> the crowd loves me. Ooh. What are these? Okay, that's the, um, the, the crypto sus. I'm sure these things are hot. Um, did one just erupt? Fumarole. Oh boy. Please get in, please get in, please get in, please get in. <laughs> Communism jokes aren't always funny unless everyone gets it. Ah. Uh, Socialism! So I gotta go past this crypto sus to get to that position. And unfortunately, there's probably a really good chance that there's some bigger stuff around. What the heck was that sound? There is some big. Okay, there's another crypto sus. There's a lot of crypto susses. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to pass through. Don't mind me. Oh god. Detecting stone of an astronautical salt trunks go vessel nearby. Vessel name Mercury 2. Okay, so there is a sh There's a ship around here. Yep. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Takes a lot of balls to go off the way I do. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, so we found a ship. This is good. Um if we can get inside, we might find like all kinds of bad bleep resources or like stuff to, for us to scan to make our lives easier. Okay. I don't think I can go in the, these things. Can I? I don't think I can go in. I could believe we got fired from the factory 
the calendar factory. All I do is take a day off. <laughs> Stupid. Isn't K7 the logo from, um... Shoot, what's that space game? Shoot, shoot, shoot. I can't think of it. They just, like, released a new one, like, this month. Okay, um... I might need a laser cutter to open that door. Do are laser cutters a thing? I don't have a, a blueprint for one. If I if that is a thing. Warning. All right. Well, we're gonna see what we can find. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Whoa, whoa! I saw something that could be scanned. Mail salvage. Fly crate, titanium ingots, heck yeah. There's something else in here I could scan. Oh, this. Spinefish. Seem harmless. Please let me scan you. Oh, okay. Are these bioluminescent? Or is it just this door? Sealed door, cut to open access. Ah, uh, I don't have a laser cutter. No, and there's like glass and stuff in here. I can't get through. Okay. Is that copper wire? Oh my gosh. Please pick up. Thank you. We're about 75 seconds left in our oxygen. Pick item. Battery, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, there's definitely more to explore here. It looks like there's even another hole. Got some type of a blueprint. Um, shoot, I don't want to get like too deep in this, you know. We got thirty seconds. Yep, I'm heading back, heading back to the ship. Cause I don't want to get lost and then just new creature discovered. Being lost would be a bad time. Please get in the th the vehicle. Please get in the vehicle. Woohoohoohoohoo! Okay. <laughs> Tell you what, there was another hole over on this side. Oh! I hit something. Oh! 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 Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Well, I guess I know where this goes. Um... Let's go up these stairs, I suppose. Wait a second, I never finished exploring this first floor. Go left. Dude, I'm loving these free batteries. Okay, so there was an access point. My inventory's full. Uh, this male savage takes up a ton of space, and all it's really good for is titanium ingots. Does the... Oh! <laughs> She's in my hand. Does the truck get storage? Can I can I put stuff in this trunk? Upgrades. Do you have do you have like a trunk? It's a power cell. Do I only access the shoot? I didn't mean to take screenshots. Alright, well, we don't need the, the salvage and it takes up a ton of space, so drop, 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 drop. Ah! Ah ha ha! I definitely need to come back here when I've got a laser cutter. Okay, so entering through the bottom is an option. That's good. Nothing else over here. Okay, got 83 seconds left. Let's check this room opposite it. Old chair, some big old boxes, supply crate, and a wiring kit. I will take that because those things are pain. Sealed door, no, like what if there was like a power source in there? I gotta come back here. Well, at least I know this ship, this crash ship exists. All right, well, let's get some oxygen. 
And then we'll explore the second. We'll explore the second. Uh, the second level of this ship. It's a super fun location to explore. I want to explore more Vader Cath. I'm restricted by the technology of my time. It's about to get dark. Oh, they, they added a volumetric fog that makes it a lot easier to see. It happened to you too? Well, I can always come back. Ooh, this is an arm of some kind. Uh, laser cutter fragment. Oh my gosh. This is what I need to get into these rooms. I need three more of those. I mean, that's just the recipe. Like, I won't... Whoa, there's oxygen in here? No, like, they're doing a great job. It should be pitch dark. Pitch black. But the, um... What do you call it? More scrap. Oh my gosh. We can build the arm and come back. If we can find one more of these things. One more. Water and food? Yes, we can stay out for a little bit longer. But 80 seconds left on this little breath of air. Nothing's really scannable in here. Can I eat these fishies if I had to? More metal salvage. Uh, this looks a little dicey. 60 seconds. That's a minute to get back to the ship. And it's like right there. Son of a gun. May I offer a bit of advice for this spot? Yes, please. I'm all ears, Runner Cat. If you can say something that's going to help me from dying or get me some goodies, I'm all for it. Flashlight's also helpful. I never liked the flashlight. Um, This was like a... Something to eat up a slot in the inventory. Ow. Or like just something else like to burn up the battery. It's handy in this area. I believe it. Yeah, well, let's start off here. I'm pretty sure this is already a dead end, but... Yeah, I think this is as far as we can go with that, that, that um, laser cutter. Ah, shame. 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 Oh, definitely just hit something. Sorry, right, fishy. I mean, there's some holes there I might be able to swim through, but looks like they box it off. What are you? That is decoration. More metal salvage. Yeah, there might be salvage kind of around here. I'm keeping my eyes open. That looks sealed up. I feel like James Cameron exploring the Titanic right now. Just controlling a, a drone. A little sub. Okay, there's lots of metal salvage around, which makes sense. It's a, sh it's a shipwreck. What are you? Are you a rock? Well, that's just, that's just straight lithium. Okay, we're still looking here. We're still looking. More metal savage. Man, I wish my nose wasn't running. Annoying. <laughs> new DLC? What's up, Arcade Butter? This isn't new DLC. This is a brand new game. It's literally just a, a sequel to Subnautica 1. So much of it looks so similar. They use the same um, UI, the same similar sound effects, uh, same models and stuff. Yeah, so it, it's this a new game. Welcome to the stream, friendo. How you doing, man? Yeah, I don't think I can access this away. And that was where we first tried entering right there. Okay, so in theory, I gotta stop saying theory. Doing well, other than like this running nose I've got. Everything's good, man. Everything is good. Can we enter from the tippy top right here? That's a negative, Ghost Rider. Well, without that laser cutter, we can't explore the rest of the ship. I just heard a big roar because I don't like this. You got the same congestion? I don't know what it is, man. Alright, well, I guess we're going back to that 
last known position of this pilot. And it is scary dark down here. Okay, I don't recognize this thing. Let me see if I can scan it. Before I get out, I'm going to see... I'm going to see if there's something that wants to eat me. Anything want to eat me? Okay. Are these floating... These floating islands? Ooh! There's floating islands in here. Okay. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Adolescent lily pad. So this is like a lily biome. Let's continue towards this way. I don't know how likely I am to find this little guy's beacon if it's that far down. Maximum depth reached. Not trying to break. Okay, what is this? Uh, what is this? That looks like a power cable. And that looks like a satellite. What? <laughs> Welcome to Rapture. <laughs> Would you kindly... Yeah, that looks like a power cable. Half of these... That looks like another satellite. Um... And I'm not going to breathe as easily down here, but... What is this? There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Yeah, that's definitely seedling lily pad. Is this a bone? What is this? Is this a normal bladder fish? Come on. That is a normal bladder fish. There is stuff down here. There's a new fish I saw. Where's that fish? You. Are you friendly? Newt fish? He's cute looking. Okay, um... She said... There's something that, like, floated away? <laughs> it's a Fitbit. She said there's mass that floated away. Yeah, like, everything's floating here. I'm gonna go towards, like, where these cables are coming from. Because that looks... Significant. Is it coming from this? Or is it going towards it? What? I'm probably too fat to fit in here. Yup. Oh, maybe a little. <laughs> All right, I'm destroying my my sea, my sea truck. Don't mind me. The Batman Arkham series is amazing. I've heard nothing but good things. I'm gonna get my ship out of here. What are you? You do not look friendly. Maybe I'm judging a book by its cover. Oh, he's hypnotizing me. Where is he taking me, though? Whoa, 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 whoa. I am tripping balls. The lily paddler. Okay, so they make you hallucinate. Yeah, so if I could get back to my sea bus, that would be awesome. Oh, hey, there it is. Okay, so that dude just made me, uh... <laughs> Worms on my is also great. <laughs> what are you? Okay, so those guys make you... Whoa! Look at you! What are you? You you got to be non-aggressive. You're too big and slow. He's like a giant rabbit ray. Am I still high? A glow whale. Oh, someone's running me! <laughs> what just attacked me? What just attacked me? Oh, one of those sharky things. Woo! I'm sitting here, minding my own business, trying to scan a whale, and then that jerk just bit me. Looks like a guppy I flushed a few years ago. He made his way to sea and is all grown up now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was terrifying. I'm like, nothing can hurt me. I'm with this glow whale. Okay, let's listen to that last PDA thing that 
Stella told us. There's a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Okay, so she wanted us to go up from that little radio signal, which was straight down. So, is she talking about this formation here? Because they're all pretty small, right? Like, that leap pad has a single stone. That leap pad has a single stone. This is like a network of them. So maybe there's something of value here that Stella wants us to investigate. I can't believe that one shark bit me while I was scanning a whale. It scared the bejeebus out of me. Yeah, there's the sharky shark. I'm looking for like a good way inside of this uh Well, that's something. Hey, what? Let's eat up and heal up. Good. A shark bait while I was trying to scan a whale. Subnautica in a nutshell. Yes. Alright, um, I see a gel sack, and those are great for Aero Glide. Or aerogel. Eh. There. Now we can grow our own in the future. Do I scan you? Sure have. I don't know what you are, but I'm gonna scan to be able to grow you in the future too. Unless that's not a thing. Can I take the center? Nope, you're exclusively for lighting. Okay, so Table yeah, Coral. Was your only purpose? For me to swim through you? No. I'm missing something. I'm not gonna try getting closer to the signal that is marked on my radar, but it's. Uh, it's down there. Last no position. I mean, I'm right above it, and I can't go much deeper. Warning. Maximum depth reached. How damage it was. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. There. I am at the position. Warning. Passing 200 meters. And now 200 meters down. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Oh, that... Oh, oh, something's trying to kill me! Oh, no, 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 no. I just heard roaring. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. He's still after me. He's still after me. Enter the sea track! Enter the sea track! Oh, get in! Oh, he followed me all the way here. I, like, and the old sea moth, if you got even close to, like, the front hatch, you could just, like, oh, enter. Here, it's, like, swim to the top. Something's trying to kill me. No, 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 no. <laughs> also, Subnautica in a nutshell. Okay, so I came here and she's like, hey, something floated up and away. So maybe that, that position wasn't as important as the rock that she's referring to. I gotta find... I gotta find where those pipes were leading to. Holy smokes. Is this a giant sheet of metal? Okay, I guess these are organic. They look like um, decomposed satellites, but no, they're, they're organic. Okay, there's that sort of power cell. And it's going to nothing. I'm not trying to break my ship, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay. Well, let's follow it this way. Not try to break my ship. Huh. Okay. There's more tubing. Does it just break off into nothingness? Warning. I'm not trying to break my ship. I'm sorry. Okay, this is the... That rock formation that's got stuffies. Okay. 
Oh shoot, I'm I'm at 160 meters depth. I'm not trying to make my ship. Uh, uh, okay. We're not in danger of being crushed anymore. Let me bust out that good old repair tool here, because <laughs> I'm breaking my sea truck. Uh, repair tool. There, see? All is right in the world. Okay, this is good. Holy titanium! Why is there just a bunch of titanium tucked in here? Ah, oh, 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 oh! Yo, someone built a base inside of this floating rock. All right, well, I can't go any deeper without hurting my my truck. I'm going in on foot, y'all. When I say I'm fun, I mean with my sea glide. Look at the size of this room! Like that that right there, the multi-purpose room is what we're used to. What are you? Of course I can't scan you. Warning. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen There's gotta be a, a way to get in. There's PDAs. How do I get in? 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 Ooh, ooh, ooh! Omega Lab! I heard your toxic masculinity from three cities over. <laughs> okay, so we only had 60 seconds to get down here. Um, tell you what. Let me get the heck out before I suffocate. And I'll see how close I can get my sea truck. That is not close at all. I need the depth module to like really explore this. Okay, we'll get some air and now we know where the entrance is. This might take a couple little trips. Okay, the entrance was right there. Oh wow, they even have the Omega symbol right there. Okay, there. let's check this little platform right here. There's gotta be goodies here. Oh, what? There's a grow bed! We can grow stuff! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We can grow stuff outside like these stupid things that they have planted. Antenna fruit? I don't, those are, don't know what those do. I'm get a seed from you and a seed from you. I just get two of the same seed. Drop. There we go. That's what I'm looking for, baby. These things aren't growable. Heck yes. Is this a modification station? What are you? Your decoration. Data box. Charge swim fins? I can charge, like, uh... I could charge my sea glide while swimming with it. I could charge my knife or my tools while swimming with them. Yes, yes, yes. Warning. 30 seconds of I know. Remaining. Looks like avatar plants, right? Everything's all bioluminescent and pretty. I should turn my light on and actually see. Okay, we got everything we can on this little deck here. Let's get inside. Is this a sign? Can I scan the sign? Negative. So my efficiency... Ah... Uh, Vending machine? Yes, free food. Oh no, the water machine's not a thing. We got benches. Are these wall plants? Yep. Oh, signage, signage, signage. <laughs> Framed art. Postcard. A log. Can I take that? Nope. Is my inventory full? I'm gonna drown. We have 30 seconds. Oh no, wrong way, Gory, wrong way. Okay, okay, don't, don't, don't get in the wrong side of the sea truck. I have three seconds of oxygen left. Woo! Um, did we scan everything in this room? No, we didn't even get all the way inside this room. PDA? Danielle's bed.
Aromatherapy lamp, sweet. Oh, I don't know who that photo was, but I think it was very important. Nothing in the lockers. Okay, we got a minute left. The mug is just chilling. Single bed. Alright, we're gonna make another little pass here, because I don't want to, like, risk it. But we're gonna... Oh, base of double bed's a thing now, too. We're gonna explore a room, and after every room, we're gonna make a trip for air. Because I'm not trying to suffocate down here and lose my first sea truck. <clears throat> Too soon. <laughs> I'm only playing. No, like, when I lost my... I died in a prawn suit, like, deep, deep, deep down in Subnautica 1. I had to plan, like, a heist to go and get it. I don't have a medical supply thing in my base yet. Like, I don't know what I need to... Another PDA. I guess I can't pick up the postcard. I must have shelves ready. Yes, composite... Okay. What's this on the floor? Paper. Uh, yes. We're going. Getting air. But no, when I, I, I lost my first prawn suit down in the depths of, like, the Lost River, and I had to plan a heist to go get it back. So, I know those feels. It wasn't destroyed, and I did get it back, and I hope yours... Your sea truck wasn't destroyed, but if you built the second one, I'm afraid of its fate. Oh my gosh, can I grow? What is what is this room? What is this room? Counters? Yes. <laughs> oh, it was. I'm sorry to hear that. Shame. We got so many PDAs. Wonderful treats machine? Yes, we're never going to go thirsty again. It's like the good, good water, too. Well, it, it nearly glitched into a rock until it just broke itself or just despawned. Commander chair? No, that's what I'm talking about. All right, we might have to come back for this room because some of the stuff took a long time to scan. Tech. Control room. I don't know what the control room does, but we're going to find out. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Control room, yeah. I'm sure it'll tell us, especially when we, like, look at the blueprints. Man, like, we're just barely on the edge of, like, being able to, like, explore this efficiently. If we had the depth module for this, it would have been a, a much different... A very different story. A much different story. Warning. Passing 200 meters. I know, I'm not Passing trying to be... We need 200 meters. Please get inside. Thank you. Scanner tool. What is this thing in the center? Can I scan it? What? <gasps> Multipurpose glass room dome? What? Speakers? Come on, anything else? Oh, a PDA. Okay, we got 45 seconds, and that doesn't make me feel super confident. So we're going to leave and then come back again. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. So you still still is up. You don't want me to die neither. Thank you, Stella. We're a little bit thirsty. Let's drink something. Can I eat you? Oh, I'll make me thirsty, so I don't want to do that. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. That was unpleasant. Eh, eh, eh. Down, down. Thank you. Boy, this. Why is this room so beat up? Oh, there's probably an explosion or a fire. <gasps> power cell charger. We can charge the power or the sea truck now.
Nuclear waste disposal. I don't hope I need this. Boy, everything here is just jacked. We only got nuclear. Oh, nuclear. Re oh, the nuclear reactor blew up. All right, we got 30 seconds. We're gonna leave and come back. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Eh. How much time do we have left? Not bad. Sabotage lab. Maybe there is foul play. Is this the basin my sister was at? I have questions. We're going to have to listen to all these at one point. But not when we're struggling to breathe. Warning. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. See anything else scannable in here or even ably picked up? Can I like find signs of sabotage? That's a negative Ghost Rider. I think we got everything in here. Nothing looks sparkly glowy. Besides the stuff I've scanned. About well, 40 seconds left. We're gonna start. We're gonna start making tracks. Yep. Warning: 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, just blew right past oxygen. it. Holy smokes! I've been really lame if I just died because I couldn't get in my own truck. Do I already have the blueprint for that large room? Like, how do I build the room that large? I don't think anything else is scannable. I'm glad I accidentally scanned the ceiling, or like, could scan the ceiling. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what this thing is, but I want it. Okay, well then let's take a quick look around the base here. I can get out of this building. Thank you. Yeah, like, I want to build a room this big. Huh. Well, I'm not seeing anything immediately besides that crazy... Oh, wait, that's a, that's a light rod right down there. Okay, we're going to check that way out. We're going to definitely check that way out. Yeah, there's like a whole bunch of titanium just like stashed in like that one lip, which is really weird. Why would that be there? Okay. Yeah, there's a light rod right there. That's just like leading us here. Huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so I guess the idea was to. Ooh, what are you? Arrow ray. Warning. Passing 200 meters. Okay. Oxygen efficiency I hear ya. I hear ya. I hear ya. Well. I imagine those were just to denote, like, the front of this, or the entrance to this sort of cave. I imagine there was a lot going on in other directions. Well, we can always explore- Oh, there's more lights that way. Okay, tell what, we'll go that way too, in case there's, like, another little platform or some type of, like, a cache. Crazy. All right, going back down. There it is. Mm. Okay. Well, then some fishes. I'm really seeing anything.
All right, well, I'm going to call that uh, success on our little exploration. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get us the heck out of, out of Dodge. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we can work on upgrades. Maybe we can work on our base. Who knows? I'm not trying to break my ship. I'm sorry. No, my driving probably doesn't say that same story. Huh. I wonder if there's anything on the surface that's noticeable from here. Let's... Yeah, like, can we, like, build on top of these elite pads? What? I mean, that would be a very neat space for a base. What? Can I scan this? Mature lily pad. Yeah, like it's like a network of lilies. What is that? What is that? What is that? Weather approaching. Seek shelter. All right. Well, I'm on a giant target, so I'm gonna get off of this. Well, our base is that away. So that's where we're going. That was intense. How are we doing with health? 100% health. We're at 83% charge. Do you want to build a water build a water filtration station between the nuts we're growing and the water? Hold on. This might have been the guy that hit us. That's what I want to talk to our Lord and Savior. <laughs> Splatter spree. <laughs> I guess he didn't want to talk about our Lord and Savior. That's what happens when you bite Gory. He hits you with a truck. <laughs> Let that be known, creatures of this planet. You, you've bitten me. That's right, you. You. Or you, you. Yeah, you too. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Gory in his truck, bully of the sea. I'm not bullying anybody. Ah, <laughs> uh, get wrecked. <laughs> I wonder if they'll respawn ever, or if like, I don't have to, whoa, whoa. Where, 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 where? Or if like now that like they're dead, I don't have to worry about them. Like, is this area safe now because of me? Did I just do the Lord's work? Warning. Hold on. Meters. These Oxygen lights are too much though. <laughs> He's a cutie. PDA. I don't know what that was a PDA for, but I'll take it. Must have been for something we already had. Foodies? What the heck did that sound? I could have swore I heard a sound. I heard it again. These purple things like erupt? Like, is that what that is? Sea truck aquarium module? Okay, the purple things do erupt. I just saw it in my peripheral. We have a sea truck attachment we can build. Yes! Fabricator module? We need to build stuff? Oh my gosh, this would be like a mobile base. This could be like a, a Cyclops from the, the, the last game. Was that a crypto sus or was that an explosion? Because it sounded like an explosion. Sea truck fragment. Oh, it's a crash fish! Is he stuck? They didn't get stuck in the first game. Yep. Okay, well, he exploded it. I wonder if I could have scanned him. I'll take some fresh water. 
Anything else of value around here? Was this an egg? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen if I ever need sulfur or crash fish, I don't think I'll... I don't think... Oh gosh, get in, get in, get in, get in. I don't think I'll ever need to grow my own crash fish. I don't think it's where that... In that dire straits for sulfur here. Okay. I'm hearing roaring. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Come back here, bully. No one bullies the bully. Come back here. Come back here. What button do I press to honk my truck horn? Oh, he's eating fishies. Just had his last meal. Alright, let's head home. Uh, slight detour. Yeah, my truck is taking, like, no damage. Gory's just shredding the ecosystem. <laughs> if it's a threat and I can kill it, I'm gonna. Especially if it takes this little effort. I'm making our streets safer for the kids. It's not about the resources. It's about sending a message. I'm just a cryptosus chasing fish. I don't know what to do with one if I caught it. Speaking of cryptosus, okay, I'm at forty percent health right now. <laughs> okay, my glass is scratched and cracking. I should probably... It's sparking now. I should probably do some maintenance on my vehicle here. Yep, 30% health. That's uh, less than stellar. Penguins. Our base, our glorious base. Look at it. Beauteous. Thank you for those channel points there, sir. Well, I'm gonna put my good old C bus right around here. And this thing is overdue for a repair. Hydrate. Cheers, Rarkath. Thank you. Okay, right as rain. Right as rain. Okay, that thing took some serious damage. That's fine. Alright, well. Let's get in our base here and, uh some assessment aboard, first things first is uh you unload your battery you get a brand new one you unload your battery you get a brand new one you unload your battery you get a brand new one you unload your battery and you get Brand new one. Perfect. 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 Um. How do I build a health kit builder? Because that's a first aid kit. I want one that produces them. <clears throat> I know they exist in the first game. I haven't seen an operational one in this game. Yeah, it's not in here. That hurts my heart. Hmm. Well, we do a power charging station. 
Advanced wiring kit to lithium. Interesting, interesting. I definitely want the water filtration machine. Aerogel. Aerogel is super important in the game for several different things. And we happen to scoop up the seed to plant it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go outside. We're going to build a little base for ourselves. And we're going to start doing some outdoor farming. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's put away... We got some decorations. And we've been putting our decorations like we can't use right away in our crash pod. Because we don't have like a house yet. It's just like a single room. Yeah, so like, the picture, this can go away. Yeah. Okay, this is good. Look at our beautiful base, love it. Is it hailing or is it just raining? I'm not really gonna Find out if it's gonna kill me. Okay. Wow, look at all these nuts. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm hungry. Is it because of I'm talking about nuts. Hey, those do not give very much water at all. Well, woo, we don't even have like a lot of the ability to make a lot of water. Um Yeah, we need we're gonna need that water thing, that water filtration plant sooner than later. I wanna talk just swim around and catch a whole bunch of these guys. Ooh! Pumpkin Jack wants us to exercise our wrists, so let's do that. Fist open, palm open, tabletop claw, half fist, fist. Fist open, palm open, tabletop claw, half fist, fist. Done. Okay, we're at full health, full water, great. Um, where's my habitat builder? What do we need for just a platform? Just a plain old platform. There it is. Titanium lead? Ooh, I don't have like any lead. All right, we're hunting for some lead. Wow, we're like on top of some. Let me gun. Ooh, ladder fish. We need water. I just punched my keyboard. Sorry. I'll just get a ton of water while we're looking for lead. Of course, there's more of those stupid things. I'm fighting a husky over a beef stick at the moment. <laughs> Little Riley. Lad, yes. She's not happy about it? No, kid, this is my base stick. Lad, yes. Lad, yes. Oh my gosh, is there more? It's a little dark. I'm struggling to see here. 
<laughs> I'm trying to like, change my sort of perspective here. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Warning. Passing 100 meters. There it is. Oxygen efficiency it was decreased. underneath this thing. Titanium. Boo. Okay, we'll swim towards the surface. Kind of keep trying to circle around our base. Get some oxygen here in a minute. Maybe a bladder fish or two. Okay, so those, those nuts that we have planted are great for seconds of oxygen remaining the great source of food it's 15 food um i can't take them with them with us but every time we come home we can just like chow down but if we can get fresh water we can take that with us on the road which would be mint Okay, we got a whole bunch of um, lead now. Where's our basey base? Get back here. Get back here. Get back here. I will have you. Thank you. Oh, look, another one. Get back here. They're so sporadic sometimes. Perfect. Okay. Um... Oh, I can't build there because this plant is in the way. I mean, I don't even need to build this second one, necessarily. I can see if I can get a... We are doing Halo tomorrow, buddy. We absolutely are. Uh, exterior grow bed. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Try to like make this not look like poop, if that makes any sense. I don't want it to be somewhat aesthetic. <laughs> okay. Got it. Batman. Let's you grow plants and vegetables, providing flavorful options for evading scurvy. Okay, we're gonna plant this and we get aerogel. We're plant this stuff in case we ever need batteries and stuff again. And I don't know if we'll ever need this, but we can always rearrange stuff later. This is good. Oxygen. It's gonna be a long time before that stuff grows before we can get the aerogel, and that's fine. Free food slash water. I mean, this only gives me five food. It gives me health. So there, I'm fully hydrated, fully fed. Okay. We got a grow bed. Um, what else could we build that like would be awesome? We still have the blueprint for like that huge room. I want a huge room. A scanner room would be super nice. The control room would be dope. <clears throat> Observation rooms. That's. Another time. Hmm. Floodlight. Don't need. Actually, floodlight couldn't hurt. It'd make our base a lot more visible. Eh, we'll be fine. That or this. Aerogel's gonna take a long time to get here. I'm not building a nucle nuclear reactor. I'm not building a bioreactor. Those are dumb. Man, I want... Shoot. I want a... A bigger room. I want a bigger room. We can rearrange in the future. Lithium. Do we have any lithium? I should have picked up that lithium when we saw it. There is a jukebox. It's pretty much useless for me. For the PC, if uh, you're playing, you can like add your own tunes. 
it's useless for me because I'm not playing PC, and two, playing your own music on Twitch is a good way to get DMCA. I could build one and see like if it has like built-in music like from the game, but lithium. Ah, uh, that was the best part of this from to me. Really? That lead. Let me put. I got a ton of titanium on me for no good reason. Let me put some of this away. So we got food and water. We got basic minerals. Oh, I do have some lithium, not nearly enough. I'm gonna call this like, oh, I did get one of the seeds. <laughs> Budget, I'll switch it. Call this uh, tech. Yeah, tech and, tech and fauna. Tech and flora. Tech and sea life. How about that? Let's make some water. Mmm, mashed taters. You finally eating there, plumber. Taters is mashed potatoes is a good idea if you just had oral surgery. Got lots of stuff there. Let me go and plant this little seed guy. <clears throat> there we go. Not, not got two of them growing. How long does it gonna take for the arrow gel? Halfway done. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if we can find lithium. I know, like, odds aren't good. Metal salvage, lead, silver ore, gold, diamond, iron cube, lithium. Mashed and cottage cheese, those are very soft things. Let's just go like 200 meters deep and like close to home. Maybe we can get lucky and find lithium. Okay, 60 meters deep. Lithium? It's negative. Ooh, free oxygen. Warning, passing 100 meters. Hey, Tiger, wow, what's going on, man? Did you try and save pressing A? Um, button holstered your tool. Um, it did not. So like right now, if I bust out like the uh, the knife, if I press A, nothing happens. But I notice if I keep scrolling to the right, right now I've got my C glide. Press the right again. I've got my habitat tool. If I press the right again, totally unarmed. So uh, yeah, anytime I see monkeys, anytime I see sea monkeys, I just press right a couple times. But welcome to the stream there, hey Checker Rob. It was either that or noodles. That makes sense too, man. All very good soft things. I don't imagine I'm gonna find lithium down here, but like, you never know. We're at 150 meters. Lithium, any chance? Nope. Alright, we have three things of oxygen left. We're going back up real quick. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. <laughs> Thanks, Stella. I mean, when I saw lithium, we were over by that one beacon, so there's that. Oxygen. I know, Stella. All right, we're going straight down. Just salvage, I don't even think that's a part. Ooh, oxygen. Wow, we can go deep here. Warning, passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. We are 
deep. I'm hearing some things. Broken Mandrake? Something is right next to me and I don't like it. Oh! Oh, Jesus! Ah. <laughs> uh. Well, uh, that's what we get for going down deep. <laughs> that was terrifying. Oh, my heart. Dear Lord. Did you explore the SOS signal? Yes, so I found like a base inside of like a floating lily pad biome. Um, got some cool materials. Didn't get um, the blueprints for like that big multi-purpose room. But I really want that. Got some other cool stuff like the water filtration. Um, almost... I also found like a crash site of like this giant um, spaceship. And uh, I couldn't quite explore because I needed a laser cutter. And it had laser cutter parts in it, but it only had two, or at least I only found two, which is a real bummer. Man, that was terrifying. Is the aerogel, the gel sacs done? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna plant. And then we're going to take. Ah, the one I was talking about was right where you were just at. Like, I found a site. Um, not an SOS signal. I found, like, a position. Like, a base, sort of. Not far from me. Very close. Like, right around here. And there wasn't much there. It was like a single tube in a hatch, if that makes any sense. It was, it was nothing crazy. But yeah, we have a base. It's not where we left it over by Delta Station. Um, we got some stuff. Can I get the water filtration thing built right now? I need that advanced wiring kit. Water filtration, water filtration, water filtration. Then need three titanium. We need copper wire. We need aerogel. And ruby. You need ruby? Oh, I've never even come close to ruby in this game. Well, there goes my dreams of having an infant supply of water this early in the game. Poo, poo, poo. You might want to explore where you were just at and search for that SOS. You'll find the rebreather. Okay. Define where I was just at. If you're talking about where I just got bit by that whatever that was, I've never scanned it before, so yeah. If that's what you mean, I suppose I can explore it on there. I'll definitely take my sea truck then. But, um, I call this sea life. It is 10 o'clock, so we're definitely going to call it a night here. Let me go ahead and save. We're gonna go to the outro screen. We're gonna find someone to raid together and we'll call it an end of this Tombstone Tuesday broadcast. Don't go anywhere, you guys. We'll be right back.